We are united. We're finally united in order to actually increase the coordination of uh, our coalition. We just uh, appointed uh, uh, Carmichael as our full-time uh, Director of Advocacy in Washington, D.C. from today. So we're so thankful. Um, so um, expect her phone calls and visitations to your office. We would be hypocritical if we hide our differences. We are different in ethnicity, in religious belief, even in the skin color. But if one ethnic group, if one faith group, if one group of color is not free, no one is free. No one is free. We are united for freedom for all. And for the time uh, reason, uh, I would um, only mention the uh, persecution in 2018 against the Protestant Christians and Christian churches. And this, uh, today we just uh, released our annual report on the Chinese government persecution of churches and Christians in mainland China. And it's really just the tip of the iceberg. The figures, the numbers, are staggering. According to our own record, that can be backed by all the case reports. 2018, more than one million Christians were persecuted actively, which is three and a half times more than those recorded in 2018, 2017. Of those, more than 10,000 church leaders were persecuted, which is five times greater than those recorded in the 17. The number of people arrested, more than 5,000, went up by 35%. That, this includes more than 1,000 church leaders. That is a 54% increase from 2017. More than 500 actually received actual sentence to prison terms, an increase of 44% from 2017. Among them, more than 50,000 Christians were abused, tortured. That constitute an increase of 25% from 2017. Among them, this persecution, the Chinese Communist Party used the name of so-called sinicization. In the name of sinicization, sinification of every religion. Because of that policy, every church in the government sanctioned churches, they have to put a Xi Jinping's portrait and Chairman Wall's portrait on the stage of the house of worship. And many churches, the first item of their worship, Sunday worship started with every member mandated to rise up and sing national anthem, and sing a part of Communist Party revolutionary songs, and sing a song of praising Chairman Xi, how great thy are, Chairman Xi. The closest comparison to this evil signification, I find a photo online, is happened in 1935 in Nazi Germany. You can see that. These years, 1935 to 37, with the Nazi models, and they don't even put Hitler's portrait in the Lutheran church, the state-sanctioned church at that time. Under that slogan, 
These persecutions were warranted, and believers, massive arrests, were sentenced to, in Yunnan province, for example, a number of believers and leaders were sentenced to 4 to 13 years. Their crime is when the PSP search their home, they find copies of Pilgrim's Progress, Chen Lichong. They find a copy of John Calvin's Institute of Christian Religion. These are deemed as evil cult literatures. For that, four to 13 years imprisonment. I just want to mention one more. Since December 9th, the early Ren Covenant Church in Chengdu, led by Pastor Wang Yi, was attacked, uh, heavily persecuted. So far, over 300 members were arrested. And members were uh, interrogated from seven months old baby to 10 years old children. Some were detained from hours to three days among seven months old baby in the interrogation center with their mom and dad. And I just learned a couple of days ago that some of those who were released since December the 9th actually were being forcefully fed with mind control medications. And many of them were tortured and during this mind control medication time they were being tortured with uh, filming, taping, and forced them to write and sign confession paper against this man God, this Pastor Wang Yi and his wife, who were accused of inciting the subversion of state power. If they are convicted of 15 years, could be waiting for them for simply being a church leader. So these are still happening every day, every Sunday. And actually, even to attend a simple Bible study two days ago, a Christian couple from that church, after they finished the Bible study, they were immediately arrested and put in that one police station and suffered for eight hours of non-stop beating, physical abuse, and other tortures. Enough is enough. It's time to the Communist Party leaders that to let you know that your propaganda or the tactic of division among different ethnicity, different faith groups will be a daydream. We will make sure your plan will never be successful. We are united and together we can make a difference. Persecution. Thank you.